All right. So this is where we're at right now. Uh, there's one echo and item that, when combined, invalidated most of the uh, other echoes, which is why the game is a 9 out of 10. Oh, okay. That's a bummer. Made your own D. You! You made your own D&D &D character. Let's go. Dwarven Wizard, and his name is Magnus. You know, dwarf wizards are a lot of fun. Dwarf wizards are definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, I previously ended up playing as a dwarf bard, and the dwarf bard was a lot of fun. Uh, wasn't exactly a min maxi character, was more like kind of an all around character that just happened to be really good at. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, how do we twirl? Okay, we twirl with R. Okay. Just making sure that I remember the controls and everything. No worries, Zoe. Uh, if you want to avoid the echo, do ice last. Okay. All right. No, that's good to know. We are still, as you can see, we are very early game. Uh, we're just barely going to, like, we are heading to the Gerudo Desert today. And the main plan, I'm sure you guys can tell with the title, is we are going to try and uh, beat the second dungeon. My gosh, really? Wanted, Princess Zelda, if sighted, send word to the King of Hyrule? I saw a bunch of memes that were like, My gosh, they just can't get my nose right. Like Flynn Rider from, uh, from Tangled. That, I don't know why I was blanking on the name. Oh, come on, man. There we go. No. Tackle him. Come on, Sandshrew. Use rollout. Dude. Okay. Uh, let's... No, I, I didn't mean to do sword. Hold up. Uh, let's see. What should we do? I'm thinking... I'm thinking we actually want this guy. Oh my gosh. It's just a, a spider right there. Okay. Wait, I have whispers blocked? That was not intentional. I'm sorry. If only I had a D&D group. There are some, uh, like, online groups that you could get involved with if you were interested. No, actually, I'm going to take off the sword. I don't really want to do... Uh... I want to tackle these guys with... Um... Just as Pokemon. Oh boy, okay. My gosh, the spider is just wanting to murder my rope. Okay, okay, not good, not good. That spider is intense. Uh, dark nut time. Dark nut. There we go. Thank you. All right, let's learn spider. There we go. A spider is a goofball, absolutely. Uh, we got the Crawltula. No, that's a Spinarak. We got Spinarak. I don't care what the game says. We got Spinarak. Okay, I would like to throw <laughs> Armor Rouge. Tackle him! The spear is going to hit him, but... Oh, come on, Armor Rouge. Really? There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. Oh, look at the little tiny birdie. Yeah, playable Zelda isn't just a copy of Link. I'm I'm thrilled that it's not just a copy of Link. I I, I wouldn't really feel good if it was just a copy of Link, you know? Okay, the Dark Knight is actually, like, really good for the spider. Because the spider is not able to make it past his armor, which is huge. Uh, the Deku Scrubs are so cute in this game. I have seen little tiny Deku Scrubs. I haven't actually, like, come across them yet in my playthrough, but I have seen them. I really like how cute a lot of the character designs are in this game. All right. This... this is kind of cool. Oh wait, is this a uh, side quest? How do you think a playable Ganon would play? Um, imagine how... Uh, like, if you have ever played 
Age of Calamity and you just wreck house and all of the enemies are paper thin, I think that's how Cannon would play. Went to your local thrift store this morning to find at least a hundred BB babies in perfect condition for sale. Hello? 90s babies rejoice? Okay, uh, they were definitely from someone's collection. Ended up buying eight of them because I felt so bad for them and their owner. Beanie Babies, I know, my gosh, it really takes me back to the 90s, man. Like, before Bitcoin ended up, like, infiltrating every corner of the internet and ruining everything for us, like, and, like, cryptocurrencies in general and NFTs, God forbid, we had, like, Beanie Babies, and the Beanie Baby craze was absolutely insane. If you were not there for it, like, there were people that were, like, in online forums trying to talk about how different be Beanie Babies were worth different uh, amounts of money, and, like, they were assessing all these different mint conditions for them and whatnot, and they had rooms that were full of BB Babies. There were all these different news stories for it, and then what came out of it? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> It's it's kind of funny, but it was cute. I mean, like, I can't really, like, fault any of that. You know, I've got an amiibo collection. And, and I, I collect amiibos the way that a 90s kid would collect Beanie Babies. If something hurts a Deku Scrub that uh, you need to destroy... Oh, yeah, absolutely. I will defend the Deku Scrubs. Link, Link, are you there? There are so many monsters here. Fight them off for me, please. Okay. We're gonna. We're just gonna have the uh, dark nut tackle him. Oh, poor little guy. Uh, let's sneak around here, actually. <laughs> Bro was caught yapping, and I was like, "No, I'm gonna sneak around to the side." Well, saving up the day is always the heroic. Huh? You're not Link. Sorry about that. That hood had me thinking you were someone else. You have a gas station next to your new apartment and it has a display of Pokemon cards. I'm not going to lie. Uh, having a gas station really close to where you live is kind of goaded. Because I, I don't know if this speaks to anybody else here, but uh, I have definitely had moments really late at night where I am craving a gas station hot dog. I know that some of you are probably going to judge me for that. I, like, that's just a fact of the matter. I'm not going to try to pretend that that is not going to be the case. But, like, I love a gas station hot dog when it's, like, really late at night and nothing else is going to hit, you know? Look, I know, okay? I understand that when they're on the rollers and they have probably been sitting there for four hours because they've been neglected and nobody loves them. Like, yeah, they are not the most delicious food in the world, but I'm saying at a certain time of night, nothing else is going to taste nearly as good. Like you can make yourself a bowl of ramen or you can like microwave some chicken nuggets, but sometimes a gas station hot dog is exactly what the doctor ordered. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, don't knock it till you try it. Please forgive the confusion. My name is Verily, and I'm a resident of Southern Village. I set out to chop grass in my village, and before I knew it, it I chopped my way to Southern Prairie. So my apartment kind of in a court plaza and the gas station is connected to it? Okay, nice. Nice. Especially if you end up, like, driving places a lot of the time. That's also going to be kind of convenient. The doctor needs their license revoked. Okay, listen, though. Listen. It's got a time and a place. That's all I'm trying to say. A gas station hot dog has a time and a place. That time and place is not a doctor's office. It's just... It, it's good. It's good. I would not have it every day. I probably wouldn't even have it on average once a month. This is only like a once in a long while kind of craving that I end up getting, uh, getting. But sometimes when I want a gas station hot dog, I'm going to get a gas station hot dog. Homemade cranberry apple, uh, you roll sausage, best things ever. Wait, cranberry apple roll sausage. I, I imagine that this is kind of like a sage sausage situ situation. That sounds really good. You guys know what I ended up making last night? Uh, I ended up posting about this in the Discord. Uh, but I essentially ended up making a, uh, 
like think of it like a salmon wellington what i did is i took a fillet of salmon and then i wrapped it in like a cream cheese spinach dip basically and then i stuffed the entire thing in a puff pastry and i baked it in the oven and it was so good i ended up hosting friends for dinner last night and like they were pescatarian i was going to make some like pork and vegetables uh from like an italian cookbook and it was going to be delicious but i was like oh no you can only eat fish okay i got you covered and so i ended up making salmon wellington and oh my gosh it was so good and it was also way easy too salmon en croute uh i guess salmon en croute let me look this up and see if um Yeah, it's basically salmon en clout, but uh, it's it, it had cream cheese in the filling. Yeah, so it was like spinach and onion and garlic and dill and cream cheese and parmesan. So it, it was like a spinach artichoke dip, but without the artichoke. And it went really well with the salmon and puff pastry. It's so good. Yeah. I, like, I ended up posting about it on the Discord. If you are in Polly's Discord, I ended up posting a link. I'm going to go ahead and post the link in, um, in my Discord as well, the uh, in the Foods channel. Because, seriously, it was actually, like, super easy, and you guys should check it out. It's very good. Anyways. While I was here, I figured I might as well get rid of the shrubs and make a little plot for myself. That was when the monsters appeared, and, well, you know the rest. There's a lesson here. You should never get too absorbed in your work. True! Absolutely. I'd like to pay you back for saving me. It's not much, but I hope you'll take it. 20 bucks? We can take that. <laughs> Blow through what's left in uh, the bank account. Buy out the cookies. I mean, all the cookies in a gas station? I don't know, man. Like, a little cookie as a little treat every now and then is great, but, like, if you're buying all the cookies, you're not even going to be able to eat them before they start going stale. I tell people to make that just Okay, all right. No, I I'm picking up what you're putting down. Link, the person I mistook you for? He's a brave swordsman from Southern Village. He's been a light to all of us. But right now, he's off fighting monsters. It's rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. I hope he's doing well, wherever he might be. If you run into a swordsman wearing a hood and a green tunic, can you pass him a message? His friends in Southern Village will be there for him when he comes home. Whether they actually follow up is up to them. I'm just going to suggest that you end up uh, completely depleting your bank account because of cookies. That's all I'm trying to say. Speaking of cookies, I'm thinking what kind of cookies to bake. Uh... You know, this is... It, it might be controversial. Uh, I'm going to say that you should bake oatmeal cookies. I think you should bake oatmeal cookies. Oatmeal cookies are way better than people give them credit for. A lot of people are like, Oh, I don't like oatmeal cookies because, like, oatmeal raisin. And I don't like oatmeal raisin because chocolate chip is better. Well, if you stop comparing all of your cookies to each other and simply appreciate the cookie for what it's worth on its own merits, I promise you, you would enjoy oatmeal cookies. People need to give oatmeal cookies more of a chance. Oatmeal cookies are goaded. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like oatmeal with a little bit of spice in your cookie. If you want to have oatmeal raisin cookies, you can absolutely do that. But like... Can we stop comparing cookies to each other? That's very cookiest of you. Like, each cookie is valuable in their own right. And just because they taste differently and just because they might have slightly different ingredients doesn't mean that any one cookie is worth less than any other cookie. I support oatmeal cookies here. Alright? Oatmeal cookies are delicious. They are literally as big as your hand, so they aren't lit. Okay, well, uh, like, here's what you would end up doing, Titan. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to buy out all the cookies. You're going to want to get a uh, lasagna pan. You're going to want to make some frosting out of uh, predominantly powdered sugar and just a splash of milk. And then you're going to create a cookie lasagna. That's what you should do. A honeycomb cookie? You should absolutely do that, yeah. 
If you do post pictures in the Discord, I want to see. Uh, this is the shortcut back to the ranch. Who's the prankster that blocked it off? I hope you're not planning to go this way. The road's blocked. I might consider taking another route, but that feels like admitting defeat. Uh, well, can we... Can we set this on fire? We can set that block on fire at least. Okay. Oh, I'm... I didn't mean to set the grass on... Okay, alright, we're setting the grass on fire. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Man, we are not doing hot in terms of health. This is not great. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and get a, a save point. A, li uh, a life full of cookies and Pokemon cards is tempting. Ooh. Polly, welcome on in. I hope that you are happy, healthy, and hydrated. Only stopping by to say hi. No worries. Yeah, I want to avoid spoilers, but have a great rest of your stream. Absolutely. Thank you for stopping by. It was really fun playing Mario Kart with you last night, by the way. That was a very good, fun stream. I had a lot of fun. My friend was a victim of card theft a few days ago. No. Oh, that's cringe. I'm sorry. Not cringe for them, but cringe that, like, people would commit card theft. Uh... Can we set the trees on fire? Oh my gosh. It's a bird. It's a bird. It's a bird. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking dark nut, actually. There we go. Okay, hit him again. What kind of bird is this for Pokemon? Is this a... Uh... Hold up. The Guay Echo? What's the Toucan Pokemon? Does anybody remember? Is it Toucanon? I gotta look this up. Yeah, Toucanon. I th yeah, that's what I thought. That's uh, from Gen 7. Yeah, Toucanon. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know if this is Toucanon. I don't know if this is a different bird, but we can definitely call it Toucanon. One thing for the blob enemy, you're supposed to use the sword. Oh, for the sword for that blob enemy. Well, I don't want to do that. I'm going to search for some hearts. There we go. We got one heart right there. I'm going to have that guy tackle that. We're just going to get some hearts. Heal a little bit. And then I kind of want to go into the void. I'm kind of thinking that we should go into the void. I'm carrying my friend with me. Carrying my Pokemon with me. Going to a mall and getting cookie slices and experience like no other. A pizza slice? I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Like mall pizza and mall pretzels also definitely go hard. There is a time and a place for it. Ooh, wait, hold up. We got a couple other echoes that we could get. Your boy really wants the wolf? Oh my gosh! Crazy! Dude! That wolf does such high damage. I need you to protect me, squire. Protect me, squire! Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about with the game quest. Wait, is that a... Uh, is that a console? They're playing almonds, so I put them in a bowl. Uh, fill it with water, drain it, uh, put salt because of the wetness, and lets the salt stick. Are they already roasted? By the way, we got a like and rock, everybody. We got a like and rock. We love to see it. Rock rough. Yeah, rock rough. Yeah. A either a like and rock or a rock rough. Yeah. Okay, uh, I kind of want to like explore a little bit more up here, see if there's any fast travel points that we could unlock, and then we can start making our way to like the Garuda Desert proper. 
Man, the frame rate is kind of all over the place with this game. I have heard that like it definitely doesn't perform as well as Link's Awakening. But actually having it in my hands, it's like, oh man. It actually is quite <laughs> jarring a little bit. Your grandma's been working at a food pantry recently because she has all. Oh. Well, I mean, working at a food pantry is awesome. And okay, let's Let's go ahead and use our Slugma. Beautiful. Okay. Yep, now that's on fire. And it's... No, stay on fire, please. Stay on fire. Take damage. Thank you very much. Okay, I figured that there is probably a goodie in here. Oh, yep, yep, there is a goodie. What is this? Woo! You didn't get any frame dips on your seven-year-old Switch? I don't know if it's just, like, my OLED model or what, but, like... I, I think that part of it is, like, I'm used to 60 FPS for the most part in Link's Awakening... And so when it ends up dipping to like 40, I'm like, ooh, that's jarring. Yeah. Uh, cause nothing can stick. Uh, so dry it, soak the almonds and salt them. No, I mean, that is a good way of doing it. Yeah. If the almonds are already roasted, if you have them like raw, I think that like maybe just toasting them in a pan with just a very small amount of oil. Or maybe not even oil, because, like, the the nuts uh, actually have, like, a little bit of oil in them. They have some fat, so I don't know. Okay, we got an unusual crystal that fills up our sword energy. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more hearts. Still haven't found any fast travel. Oh, they were right here. Right here. Almonds absolutely do need salt. They definitely need salt. Okay, we are way far away from where we're actually supposed to be, so maybe we should start heading back. Get a heart container. Ooh, thank you for the snack. All the cookies from the gas station by Titan's house? Oh my gosh. Well, good news, Titan. We don't have to completely drain your bank account. We could simply take the cookies that... Uh, Apex is providing for us. We love to see it. Check Kakariko Village or Hyrule Castle. Nice. Hyrule Ranch. Oh, man. I really want to do this, but I want... Okay, let's at least start with the quest. Oh, uh, welcome to Hyrule Ranch. I'm afraid we're not loaning out mounts at the moment. We're a bit distraught, see? One of our horses went and ran off. Hardly out of the usual for her to gallop out west. What's odd is she hasn't come back. Never paid for these, so by the way, if the cops come knocking, y'all don't know me. Wait, so you're providing us with the cookies, but you're not collecting the cookies in an ethical way? Are you trying to implicate us in your crimes? I don't think that that's going to hold in the court of law. I swear, like, Apex, if I end up getting subpoenaed, if I have to show up to the court because of the cookies that you're providing Twitch chat, I'm never going to forgive you. I can't afford a lawyer at this time. I will neither confirm nor deny this. Okay. All right. You're, you're going you're gonna to exercise your right to remain silent on the issue. Yeah. Okay. Your whole family went looking, but we didn't find her. What is your story, little Octo? If you see our horse, I don't suppose you'd mind bringing her back here. I think that we actually want to find that horse. Let's head out west. Yo, Twinite, good to have you here. I hope that you are happy, healthy, and hydrate. Girl, what are you doing? What is you doing? Hi. Riding horses. Okay. I do not have the time or money for... Exactly. 
Yeah, I don't know how the horse got here. They have these really soft pumpkin uh, cookies, by the way. Oh my gosh. Oh, a nice pumpkin cookie with a little bit of like a cream cheese frosting or like a powdered sugar uh, splash of milk type frosting. Sounds so good. Sounds so delicious. Uh, press A to mount the horse. Uh, use L to move. Tilt L opposite from the direction in which you're moving to stop. Dismount with B at any time. Okay. Good to know. But we... Hmm. I think that we're going to start with some beds. Um, let's do... I'm thinking a crate? Now we need one more bed. Is that enough? No! Okay, that's not good. Okay. Let's... Is this the way to do it? Yay! We got a horse! Let's go! Whee! Pine nuts rock? Pine nuts do rock. Pine nuts are awesome. I like my cookies soft too. I'm not like a really big like crispy cookie enjoyer. I want them to be soft. And like... It, I want them to be soft enough where if I'm biting down on them, not with my teeth, but with my lips, they just fall right into my mouth. That's the way I enjoy cookies. Yo, Connor, welcome on in. I hope that you're happy, healthy, and hydrated. Watch the ranking. They said the two best nuts are almond and walnut. Okay. Uh, gonna hard disagree on that one, though, because I think that the best nut is easily cashew. I love cashews. Probably gotta be like pine nuts and cashews are probably really high up there for me. You had to grab ingredients to practice my food final. Food final? Fun. Okay. Mom who was in bed, uh, and she thought uh, she was was just, I'll, went with me, and the pain from moving, mad, here, see a doctor, and she found out she had appendicitis? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Your procrastination saved your mom. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm glad that your mom got the treatment that she needed. That is really scary. Yeah, appendicitis and, like, burst appendixes are, like, no joke. I'm really glad it ended up working out. Yeah. Cookies need to have a crisp edge but soft middle. I think it, at that point you got the best of both worlds. Okay, we are going to have an incoming ad break in about five minutes, guys. I'm just letting you know. Twitch is letting me know, uh, and I want to give you guys fair warning about that, uh, because I know that some people are able to skip through the ads through, uh, subscribing. Others are not going to be able to, uh, and that's totally fine, but, uh, once we hit the ad break, we're gonna take, like, a little brief break, because I don't want to, like, do much in terms of gameplay, uh, if people aren't able to watch. So, that that is gonna be the plan. Say, that's our horse! She's finally back home where she belongs. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Who would have thought it? The poor girl ended up in a place like that. She and I are both in your debt. Tell you what, Sprout. You ever need a steed? I'll lend them to you free of charge. I I have heard... Uh, is it called Twitch Premium or is it like... Is that what it's called? I thought it was like Twitch Turbo. Or is that Discord? Yeah, I don't know. Twitch Turbo, that's what I thought, yeah. And, uh, I mean, like, here's the thing. If you end up watching a lot of Twitch, and that is where you consume most of the media that you watch, I think that th it's definitely worth it to do Turbo. Yeah. One thing you should know is there are massive spoilers after you do your 5th uh, and 6th dungeon. Okay! Good to know. Very good to know, thank you. We are nowhere near that point, but I will keep that on the back burner. I appreciate it. Horses are great for getting places quickly. You can go ahead and saddle up on whichever one you like. Okay. Uh, can I... I can at least talk with the cow. I'm not gonna lie, as far as video game cows go, it's a pretty good cow. 
There's a puppy. You cannot pet the doggy, unfortunately. But, oh my gosh, look at how adorable that doggy is. Someone entrusted that mare to us, so we're not loaning her out. Oh man, I really wanted the white one with the blonde mane. We get our pick with any of the other fine horses. Chat, which one should we do? I'm thinking that we should take on this one. And we can name this one Macchiato. I'm going to name this one Macchiato. I have closed all the rifts in this game. You get all three. I, I'm i definitely going to uh, see what I can do uh, to get all the rifts. I really want to... like. I might end up 100%ing this game. I don't know, and I don't want to make any promises. Oh, so you can ride all of them once you close all the rifts. Okay. What is this? I could. I very well could, but I was feeling like I wanted to get the other one. Excuse me? Yeah. Hello! I'm the stamp guy! Is this like the Pokeball guy from Sword and Shield? Stamp guy? Okay, Twinite, you've played this game. Is this guy, is he the same energy or even the same character as Pokeball guy? I think his literal name was like Ball guy from the Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hope that you guys know what I'm talking about. Kinda. He's awesome. Okay, cool. I'm looking forward to making a new friend here. I've loved stamps since I was a tiny tot. Now I'm Hyrule's biggest stamp fan. Bet you're curious about this stand. This is a stamp stand. A stamp? Uh, a stand for stamping stamps. Aren't stamps great? That plunk when you press one down? To leave a stamp behind? Plunk-tacular from start to finish. I mean, I do like a good stamp, but like, I feel like this guy is definitely giving like, this is my special interest energy. He gives you items for filling out stamp cards, those pedestals. Okay, nice. That's why I love a stamp rally. Traveling for stamps, collecting them all. Sounds fun, right? Well, I've created a stamp rally with stamp stands all over Hyrule. Ooh, what are we going to get for a snack, Titan? Ready to rally? I bet you're rally, rally, rally excited. Yeah, you are. Okay, here's your stamp card. Reese's! That's goaded. I love Reese's. Oh, so good. Honestly, probably like the perfect blend of uh, peanut butter and chocolate. By the way, ads are going to start in like two seconds. So, just letting you guys know. Reese's are... Um, I feel like Reese's are like one of my favorite candies. I think that Snickers is probably... Snickers and Baby Ruth are, like, really high up there. Um, but Reese's is definitely, like, a very close second. I just love the combination of peanut butter and chocolate, personally. Coffee crisp for me? Coffee crisp? Is that a candy bar? What? How have I not heard of this? Coffee crisp? Oh, in Canada. Okay. I'm gonna have to stop by Canada sometime soon. I'm gonna have to, like... Yeah. Abba Zabba Bar. I have heard of Abba Zabba Bars. I forget what's in them, though. What is it about Coffee Crisp? Like, like what is in a Coffee Crisp? Now I wanna... I wanna look this up. Probably get... I could probably get some off of Amazon, yeah. But, like, if I'm... If I'm going to make a full-blown trip to Canada, I'm going to make a whole ordeal out of it where I end up, uh, like, going, I get poutine, I get coffee crisp, I get all-dressed chips, and I stop by Tim Hortons and I get a double-double. Like, I know that Canadian culture is way bigger than its, like, culinary contributions to the world, but I just love picking up the- Okay, coffee crisp. Yeah, it's a Nestle coffee crisp. What's in it? Okay, you can get them off of Amazon. All right. Chocolate bar made in Canada consists of alternating layers of vanilla wafer and foamed coffee-flavored soft candy. That sounds so good. Why do we not have those in the States? We call ourselves the best country on Earth. Rather... 
<laughs> Rather pretentiously, I might add. And we don't even have coffee crisp. That's so sad. To be fair, I'm not a big fan of peanut butter fan, but when I'm in the mood... Oh, yeah. See, I love peanut butter. I could probably just eat peanut butter straight from the jar. Literally earlier this week, I ended up getting celery from the fridge, and I snapped off a stick, and I just dunked it in a jar of peanut butter, and I'm munching on that while sitting on my couch and watching YouTube. It was the most real moment that I have felt all week. So many people are refunding their Joker tickets. It's hilarious. That's like, I wanted the movie to be good. But from what I have understand, and I'm, I haven't seen the movie, and I'm probably not going to watch the movie until I can stream it for relatively easily and not have to spend additional money on it. But w from what I've heard is that they completely butchered Harley Quinn's character. Yeah. Another one of my favorite chocolates is the Kinder Surprise. Kinder Surprise is good. Yeah. See, Americans are not allowed to have the toys in it because Americans are just so good at eating chocolate that they will eat the Kinder Surprise quick enough that they don't even realize that there's a plastic toy in it. And then, like, forget microplastics. Americans straight up have macroplastics in their intestines. I think that if you were to, like, do a survey of the average American and have, like, do a scan inside their intestines, chances are you are going to find little tiny plastic toys, like, full-blown plastic in your average American's intestine. It's sad. Celery is mid. It's only saving Grace's peanut butter. Uh, if you're having celery on its own, yeah. But if you have it with peanut butter or with a dip like hummus, celery can be really good. Also, celery is like one of the key ingredients that you see in most French dishes and by extension, lots of uh, Cajun dishes uh, down south because uh, the combination of celery, onion and carrot is really good for an aromatic base. And then uh, it's very similar in a lot of southern dishes, but they call it the uh, quote unquote holy trinity where the base of many soups, including, uh, like, gumbo, is uh, onion, celery, and uh, green bell pepper. It's a very good combination if you have it, like, slowly cook in oil and then you add ingredients just to have that as the base. It's very good. Kinder Joys? Yeah, Kinder Joys are good. Kinder Joys are good. Oh my gosh, we've been talking so much about candy. We've ignored Stamp Guy. I am so sorry, my friend. Give me that stamp card. Stamp Rally Beginners, it was handmade by Stamp Guy, and it looks like it. I know you're gonna have fun, because I had fun making it. Now get a stamping, like you've never stepped before. Hold up. Is Stamp Guy actually buff? You saw that, right? You saw that he has a body percent, uh, like, a fat, uh, body fat percentage of, like, 3%, and that he was, like, doing a superhero pose like that. You saw- everybody saw that, right? Stamp guy is ripped? Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that everybody else saw that, too. Kinder Joys are a bit much for what you get. I can see that, too. It's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. Snickers is where it's at. I absolutely love Snickers. Like, Snickers and Baby Ruth are definitely, like, really high up there for me. Full-on cheese grater abs. My gosh. Bro doesn't need a washing machine because he could just use his abs as a washboard. Holy cow. Look for stamps like this all over the world and get every stamp. But hey, there aren't any uh, stands underwater or in buildings. And they're not in caves either. That'd be way too dangerous for my tastes. I'll give you a reward if you fill up that card with stamps. Push yourself to find them. Well, now I got to find all of them. Okay, all together now. Ready, set, go stamp rally! Dude, that's awesome. Let's fast travel. Unlock that fast travel. Now, there isn't like an entire wall... Ooh, uh, uh, what's going to be the best way to get to Garuda Desert from here? I mean, we can fast travel, but I'm thinking that if we head... If we head this way and then head towards the gap, 
If it's down here, we might be able to do it. Really want to watch you play Wobble Dogs again? It will happen. I don't know how soon it's going to happen, but it is going to happen. If there's kind of a lull in video game releases and we're fully caught up with a lot of the other series that we're doing, I'd say it's definitely going to happen. Okay. Nice. I hear that the movie by itself isn't that good, but the ending really ruins it for people. Really? Man. I wanted the movie to be good, too. It took forever for me to actually finally, uh, like, watch the first movie. The first movie was good, but it also, like, for the most part, I was worried because it wasn't, it didn't look like it was going to be my cup of tea. That's how you get up here. Wait a minute. This is definitely not the way that they intend you to go in the Garuda Desert. We're very far away from the sands that it shows that cutscene in. <laughs> oh, this looks cool. I'm sure there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here, but this desert seems really big. I wonder where we should start looking. I guess for now we should check around the area with the biggest rift. Oh, yeah, we're on, like, a giant wall. Hello? Big tree? Yeah, it took a while for me to actually watch, like, the first Joker movie because, like, when it was in theaters and everybody was talking about it, I'm like, I don't know if this is really my thing. And then I ended up watching it later, and I was like, you know what? No, it is a good movie. I can understand, like, for people that take that movie way too seriously... I'm a little bit worried for them, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was good. It was a good exploration into Joker's character and whatnot. There is a rift. Didn't like the first movie that, uh, no, and I can also understand why it would make you really uncomfortable. I think that it would make most people really uncomfortable. Thank you for no fall damage. That was really cool of you, Zelda devs. Hello? Ancestor's Cave of Rest. I kind of have a sneaking suspicion that we're not supposed to be here yet. <laughs> let's head out of here. And let's see if we can talk to uh, a Gerudo woman. Hello? Froggy? What are you doing? Why would you hurt me like this? Okay, Dark Nut, I choose you. Dark Knight, I choose you. Thank you. I would like to learn... Uh, is this, uh, Polyrath? Is this Polyrath? Uh, like... Ooh, I mean, it's a green froggy. Somebody who's more familiar with Pokemon than me. We all know that I'm very bad at memorizing Pokemon. Is, is this a Polyrath, or is this gonna be a different type of frog? Politoed? I can see that, yeah. Uh... Let me look up frog Pokemon. I mean, Froki. Uh, all frog and toad Pokemon ranked. Thank you from the gamer. Let's just say that we got Politoed. Yo, we got Politoed. Let's go. We love to see it. A toad NATO. That's cute. Does no damage to the Dark Nut, too. Kind of crazy. Okay, we got Void Blobs. Oh, wait, hold up. That's a Bokoblin, isn't it? Hello? Okay, let's go ahead and learn this guy. It's another, uh, well, I mean, the other one was Embor. We already said Embor. What's this one going to be? Obviously, it can't be Embor. Uh, it... You know what? Let's make this Lechonk. We got a Lechonk. Let's go. Borblin, I fundamentally disagree. Sandfish? That's weird. Okay. Uh, Let's just one Dark Note at a time. 
Or one little uh, Pokemon at a time. Hit him! Nice. Hit him again. I kind of love having the Dark Nut on our team. And let's learn this one. Oh, that's a Carvana! Oh, that is 100% a Carvana. We love to see it. Carvana was probably, like, one of my favorite Pokemon back when uh, I played Gen 3. Uh, let's... Let's start with a Keys. The Keys should be able to attack from up high, right? Oh, oh, you know what? Okay. It's locked. Yeah, I figured it was going to be locked. Okay, let's grab another Dark Nut. Wait, is that a chili pepper? Hello? We got a warm pepper. Nice! Okay. We finally get to have Zelda on hot ones, guys. Dark Nut attack! Come on, you can do it! Cool. And now we can finally get the chest. Let's see. A sco it could be a sco villain if it was an actual monster. Oh, we uh, we got another. Oh, we got seven warm peppers. Okay, yeah. I also love sco villains design. Like out of all the designs that we end up seeing for uh. Oh wait, hold up. Out of all the designs that we saw for Gen Nine. I actually think that Sko Villain is like one of the best ones. That's how we end up getting rid of the cactus. We just gotta wait. Okay. We got a chili cactus. Okay. We're learning things. That takes us here. Is there. Is there a secret here? Or is it just... Is it silly? I think it's just silly. Cactus acquired. Yeah, I, I suppose. Oh! That's how we end up getting the heart container there. I didn't even see the heart container. So, let's go the long way again. Hello? Ugh. Mondays, am I right? Yo, let's get out of here. Okay. Like the past paradoxes. The past paradoxes are cool. The future paradoxes, I really wanted to like more. Um, but they all basically have the same general aesthetic to them. And they all start with like iron blank, iron blank, iron blank. It's a Saturday. I know, it's just an expression, bro. It's just a, an expression for all the Garfield enjoyers out there. Not just for, uh, like, the orange cat Garfield, but also uh, 20th President of the United States, James Garfield, who famously was assassinated on a Monday. Future paradoxes suck. Um, but uh, what they ended up doing for Gallade is actually kind of cool. Iron... Is it Iron Revenant? Is that what it's called? This post was made by Dragon Type Entei. <laughs> I have not played the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Did you guys see that there was the tiniest of tiny leaks for Gen 10? For Generation 10 Pokemon? Apparently, they are delaying Generation 10 Pokemon to 2026. Yeah. I don't know if it's real, but apparently there was an industry insider that was like, yeah, they're actually going to delay the next generation of Pokemon games by an entire year. I think they finally took what the fans have been saying to heart in that they are actually slowing down the uh, production. They're actually taking their time to make it. At least I'm hoping that they're taking their time to make sure that they're producing a good quality game. We're going to see. Side quest then unlocks a main mechanic, which you will need uh, to have if you don't want to use the sword. Uh, I mean, so far, all I'm doing is just uh, collecting the... Collecting Pokemon, and it's... It's proven good to me so far. But I will be on the lookout. Hello! All I can think about is Lanmola. Where is it? 
The future paradoxes would be cooler. Yeah, exactly. If they were named after different types of metal, or if they were named after like different terms that we see in computer science and in circuitry. Wait a minute, it gives rainbow attacks? Oh man, if I get to attack people with the gay agenda, then I'm going to have to do that side quest. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that side quest, yeah. Lanmola is the type of monster that lives here in the desert. If you ever find yourself caught in a sandstorm while walking in the desert, well, the Lanmola is the one creating the sandstorms. I'm pretty sure defeating it will put an end to the sandstorms. Although I've heard some people say there's more than one Lanmola. Regardless, I wonder where in the desert such a monster would be. Well, we can certainly look. It's not every day I see another Hylian in Gerudo Desert. Yeah, I know. The Violet Paradoxes. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Violet Paradoxes are good. Um, what's the one that is, like, Gallade but Paradox? Iron Valiant is what it's called. I do like Iron Valiant. That's probably, like, my favorite Paradox. But, like, I never ended up playing the uh, DLC. If you're wondering about that tent, there's a Gerudo researching something or other in there. I'm sure she could use a hand if you felt inclined. Might help take your mind off of all the rifts. True. Okay, fine. We're going to get a fast travel point. Cross between Mega Glade and uh, Mega Gardevoir. Oh, yeah. It's sick. Hello? Yeah. That, that cloak? Oh, apologies for my intensity. You reminded me of someone else. You see, I nearly got pulled into a rift a long time ago. Game Freak actually kind of cooked on them. That's what I've heard, but, like, you have to understand there are so many other games that I am playing right now. <laughs> and especially when I end up finally starting that master's program, when I end up getting my master's degree starting in January, I'm going to have even less spare time to play games. I, like, there's so many games to play, and I... I, I would love to tell you that, oh, I'm going to put it on the list and then just be that guy that says, no, I actually don't have a list and I'm never going to play that in my life. You know how everybody says like, oh, I recommend watching this TV show. I recommend watching that TV show. And you're like, oh, I'll put it on the list. And then you completely forget that you had the conversation two minutes later. I'm not going to do that to you. I'm just going to be straight up honest. I have too many games and I am too busy. I've got a full-time job. I stream when I can. <laughs> and it's like, I, bro, I don't have the time. I'd love to play it. I really would. I just don't have the time. Used uh, one, and despite it being a physical sweeper, you need to put everything into defense and special defense because uh, lowly tackle brings it out. Oh, yeah. I feel like there's always going to be some level of balancing issues with Pokemon. There's always going to be balancing issues. I mean, that's the whole reason why the meta is constantly changing in, like, professional play and whatnot. If you're trying to have a turn-based system where you keep adding a hundred different characters every three to four years or so, yeah, some things are going to fall through the cracks, you know? At the time, a swordsman wearing a very similar cloak rescued me. He took out wave after wave of monsters as they swarmed from the rift. It was quite the sight. He's actually the reason I decided to become a soldier. I wanted to be strong like him someday. Aww! That's cute! Deku! Bro! Especially Indo Indigo Disc is so cool. Hopefully, I will get around to doing it. I cannot make any promises or guarantees, though. Hey there, I'm a business scrub. Welcome to my branch of the smoothie shop. This is a place where you can craft your own freezing, taste bud-pleasing smoothies. I do love a good smoothie. Everybody who knows me knows this. The process is simple. You pick two ingredients and I blend them together. So come on now, let's get to it. Ready to make a smoothie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I would love grapes. Uh, could I get some grapes with some honey, please? Let's make honey uh, and grape smoothie. Yeah. Ten bucks. Did you hear about the Scrap Portal 2 credits? No, I did not. What's the deal with that? Look at... Oh, it's 
so cute. It's even got a curly straw with a heart on it. Are you kidding me? This is the best. I will take 17 of them right now. Yes, please. Incredible. My siblings and I are new to the smoothie game. Oh, you have an entire world to unlock, my friend. And to keep hold over the market, we're opening branches all over high. <laughs> we are trying to monopolize the entire industry. We are trying to basically be the only shop that you can turn to for smoothies. We are John D. Rockefellering this situation. But that's been so much work, we haven't had time to catch, come up with new smoothie concepts. So what would you say to a joint venture? You make recipes, we handle the business side? Come up with 10 recipes out of ingredients from your travels and we could be in good shape. We'll even throw in a reward. Sounds great, huh? Thanks for the help. Oh, before you go, my siblings are running smoothie shops in other places too. We're all sending ingredients from our local regions to the main shop back home. If you run into any of my siblings, give them my best, okay? Will do. I would like to make one more, actually. Uh, we're gonna do that combination. That's what I'm thinking. Chili... Wait, hold up. Chili cactus. There we go. It's gonna accentuate whatever we get from the chili cactus flavor. Bro, that straight up looks like vacation juice. From Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. You can't tell me that isn't vacation juice. I've never had a cactus smoothie before. Um... Let's actually do warm pepper. And let's do an apple one as well. I just want to see what we end up getting. It isn't vacation juice. I, I'm pretty sure it's vacation juice. Oh no. We <laughs> We got an unfortunate smoothie. That's the actual name for it. Pepper and honey, maybe. Oh no, I did pepper and honey. What about Electro Apple and Floral Nectar? Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, you got a mixed apple smoothie. It's so cute. Okay. Um... Drinker Glow for a time. That's right. It's Radiant Butter. Let's do that with the Floral Nectar. Just, just butter? Paula Dean lore? Hello? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that's actually quite cute. Yeah. Credits for Indigo, Indigo Disc remixes the Ed Sheeran song and it sounds so good. Toby Fox did it. Wait. Okay. No. You're wrinkling my brain right now and I am not going to be able to recover from this titan. You're suggesting, nay, you are stating that there is a song collab between Ed Sheeran and Toby Fox. I can't handle that. I can't handle that. My emotions are not ready. Let's make a butter smoothie. Let's just please make butter for me. Bro just melted butter and whipped up a smoothie that makes me glow. Yummers. <laughs> that's great. Oh my gosh, that's... I'm loving the smoothie mechanics, I'm not gonna lie. Where, where, where? Facet doesn't know and she's the chief's aide, so where are they? Oh, just muttering to myself, sorry about that. I'm Tormali, an Oasis guard. Guarding the Oasis is my main priority, but I've been tasked with another mission recently. I take it you're not from here, are you? In which case, you might be able to help me. Oh. <laughs> Th thanks for sticking me on the tentacle. Much appreciated. In your travels, have you ever seen tiles that can fly through the air? Uh, in Link's Awakening, yes. I do know that he worked on Scarlet Violet, but like... 
But if Toby Fox did the arrangement and Ed Sheeran did the lyrics... Wait, okay, no, so hold up. It's the original Ed Sheeran song from Scarlet and Violet and Toby Fox remixed it? Is that what I'm getting? Yeah, he did do the Area Zero, uh, Area Zero themes, yeah. And I think that he also did some of the battle themes, like especially for Team Star. Yeah, so no, if that's the case, then we are living in a world in which Ed Sheeran and Toby Fox both ended up working on a song that is now officially released as part of a Nintendo product. I'm sorry, but my brain just does not comprehend it. My brain rejects it outright. I understand that that is reality, but my brain says, no, no, I reject your reality and substitute it for my own. According to my boss's research, ancient Gerudo used them to chase off unwelcome guests. I've been scouring the desert in search of these tiles, but so far, nothing. Maybe you'll have better luck, though. If you find one, you can bring it to me. What do we have? Oh, another cactus. Nice. Let's see what sort of research is being done in the tent. Hello? Higher quality bed? We learned the soft bed echo. Okay, and what is this? It's shiny. It just catches my attention. Forcibly wrinkling wobbles brain. <laughs> Twitch chat just coming in every Saturday, cracking open my skull and squeezing my brain to create more wrinkles. Oh, goodness. Curious about my fan? I'd be willing to part with it if you come talk to me about something else first. Okay, I guess we're going to have to talk to her. I'm going to grab another sip of coffee before we get started. Uh, uh, uh. Hello there, Wanderer. Welcome to the Tough Mango Plant Lab. I would like a rainbow weapon, yes. You can sleep on beds to regain hearts. The better the bed, the more hearts you get, uh, and faster as well. I, I don't know. I like the I like the look of the old bed. The new bed's nice, and I do like purple. Oh my gosh. I just had a thought that popped in my head, and I'm kind of like, I like the idea. Right now, a lot of the color scheme that I have in my house in general is like blues and grays. But part of me wants to get like a purple comforter from my bed. Why wouldn't I? Life is too short to not do things that give you joy. I think that maybe I should get a purple comforter for my bed. What do you guys think? Uh, you do know about the difficulty settings? Uh, I haven't looked at them yet. I could uh, look at them later on after we finish this cutscene. Just starting at a Roblox game thumbnail and I can just tell it was generated by AI. Boo! We are not a fan of AI slop here. AI. <laughs> Poopy. Disgusting. No, don't make bad choices. Make choices that are going to give you joy. There's sometimes an overlap in those things. Okay, I'm getting do it. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that I should do it. I have had the same bed comforter since college. Since, like, <laughs> since my senior year of college. I think that maybe I should get a purple comforter. Yeah. Looked it up in Yes, Toby Fox Remix uh, Celestial for the DLC credit. That is wild. That is why, again, my brain outright rejects it. Here at the lab, we research effective cultivation and preparation for potential food crises. My current field of study is focused on tough mangoes. After much research, I've successfully developed tough mango seeds that grow at a rapid rate. Sharing the results of my work should help countless people in the future. There's just one little problem. This mango plant withers as quickly as it grows, so I'm unable to harvest fast enough. I can't compile data if I can't harvest properly. At this rate, I'll run out of funding for my project. In response, I've begun enlisting folks to help with a little game of Mango Rush. You can easily harvest the mangoes with a bit of force, like from a spin. There's a participation fee up front, but I've got a gift for you if you harvest a lot of them. Would you like Yes! If I get the fan, let's do it. Ten rupees? Let's do it. 
Mangoes can be harvested with a bit of force, but too much and they'll burn up. I'd like you to harvest 40 or more mangoes. If you do, you'll get to take some home. Let's get started. Okay. Is this like whack-a-mole? Okay. Cool. So far, we're getting like all of them. So far, we are getting all of them. I'm not complaining. Devastated. My insides are in a knot. I want to walk into the ocean. Oh, that was nearly perfect. Exquisite. You've shocked me. I didn't think that anyone would be capable of harvesting that many. Here you are. Please take these tough mangoes with you as thanks. <sighs> okay. Recovering hearts. She's good, really good. Maybe she can he even handle the extra danger seeds. So actually, I have some vibrant scenes that yield even uh, larger harvests. Spinning is faster than wa walking, true. I'll make an exception for you if you want to see them next time. Come harvest whenever you like. I'll be here waiting for you. Hi, can I get your fan? Back before I was deep into my research, I was a pretty serious dancer. I won that golden fan there by placing it in a dance competition judged on elegant choreo. I'd be willing to part with it if you help me out with a mango rush. Well, okay. Yeah. Let me do it. Let's do vibrant seeds. These seeds pouch sharp thorns, but I'm sure you'll have no trouble harvesting. If you'd like to harvest 50 or more mangoes, if you do, you'll take some home. Okay. Hopefully, we end up... Okay, so there's, like, obstacles that also... Okay. No! How do you get up there? Do you have to make a bed? That's lame. Okay, I mean, I got 51. That was definitely not my best showing, but you know what? I got 50. So thank you, I'll give you my golden fan. I got it a long time ago from a dancing tournament. Yeah, you can make echoes. Okay, that's good to know. If I wanted a perfect score, then that's definitely the way to do it. Just holding this glimmering fan made uh, with golden feathers makes you feel glamorous. Lovely. Please take the tough mangoes you harvested with you as well. Gosh, we have so many mangoes now. Harvesting the special ones, too. Sure, it's risky, but those can be avoided, right? You have st Uh, is this the one where I end up attacking people with rainbows? If this is the side quest where I attack people with rainbows, then I will definitely keep doing it. If not, I do want to get started with the second dungeon, because I want to make sure that that gets done today. No, it's not? Okay. Then I'm going to head out. Hey, it's nice that we got the mangoes, though. Another ad break, bro. Skittles, what are you doing? Let's get a stamp. He's so buff. He's so buff. Wait a minute. I made an Among Us. <laughs> and you had to see it. You had to deal with it. <laughs> There are two you need to do if you want to know. Uh, yeah, don't tell me just yet. Don't tell me just yet. 
I'm just trying to make my way through the Gerudo Desert to where the quest icon is. That way we can get started. Nice. Okay. Let me get some more coffee. Mmm, yum, yum, yummers. The monsters just keep coming. I'm completely worn out. I hear you, but if we keep at it, then that big rift should start shrinking. We can do this. We'll get rid of that rift and take back Gerudo Sanctum. Rifts have shown up all over the desert ever since our sanctum got pulled into one. I'm still in shock about the sanctum. We've got to get rid of the rifts as soon as possible. Okay. The monsters that crawl out of the rifts are tough. I'm exhausted from all the fighting. Although I've been thinking, I heard the rift in Southern Forest is gone now. I hope the ones in the desert can get fixed up soon. Then maybe we can catch a break. Okay, the quest icon is here, but who do we talk to? Our town is west of here. You should check it out. But everyone's on edge there due to the rifts. We've heard there's a lot of trouble outside the desert too. But we've got our hands full here. The quest icon is here, but... What do you do? Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, scorpion. Kill that guy. Yo! Let's go! What's the scorpion Pokemon again? <laughs> <laughs> I know so little about Pokemon, all things considered. Which one is this? Uh, no, uh, Scorpion Pokemon, not Paradox. Which one is this? It's Skoroopy! We got Skoroopy, he's so cute, oh my gosh, he's just a little friend. Okay, I'm thinking that we should just go to Gerudo Village. I don't have any carrots, so I can't summon any, uh, horses. We're just gonna have to... Oh! There we go. We're just gonna have to go the long way. Go the scenic route. Uh, is there any entrance into this rift? Oh! There's a blob that was in the rift. Um... Hold up. Let's go ahead and add a table. Hey! Hello. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right. What about her? What's, what's her deal? Hey, you're not a Gerudo. What do you want? Only those authorized by the Gerudo chief are allowed entry. Now go home. Oh, bummer. Okay. Well, are we stuck here? Oh, ad break in progress. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a break. I mean, if we're looking at... See, there's a massive rift in there. Maybe we should actually head to the Gerudo Village. That's what I'm feeling. Ad break? Wait, is nobody... Uh... Is nobody getting ads? It's saying that there's an ad break right now. If nobody's getting ads, then I can definitely continue on, though. Yeah, weird. Okay. Well, still, I'm going to get a sip of coffee. And then... And then we can head over to the uh, Gerudo Village. Hmm, not quite. Okay. Wait, what? Now we have a cutscene? Huh? My friends are nearby. Oh, try. You're so sad. I can create a rift entrance beneath here. Come on, Zelda. Oh. You can't come with me, can you? What should we do? Can you create a rift entrance at the top, Try. That'd be really useful. 
We could try talking to her. Maybe she knows a way you can get through the sand. Uh, well... Oh, wait, hold up. Uh. Hit him! Hey, Sandshrew, kill that guy! Sandshrew, kill that guy! Haha, <laughs> nice. Use rollout! What, you again? Get through the sand? Uh, no, you aren't getting past me. Only those authorized by our chief are allowed entry. Now go home. I don't think she's gonna move. What was that? Is someone hurt? I have to stay at my post, otherwise I go see what's going on. Now we finally have an update. Oh! Oh no, is she okay? Dark nut time. Oh gosh, okay. I don't know if Dark Nuts is like the best way to go about here. I'm not sure. Okay. Dark Nuts at least hitting. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, whoo. I really want to tackle every part of this game without the sword. I do think that it is hilarious to treat this as a Pokemon game, and I want to keep treating it as a Pokemon game. What happened? The monsters, they're gone? Did you defeat them for me? It seems they pose no threat to you, and yet I, a seasoned warrior, couldn't handle them. Thank you, you saved my life. Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm Dona, the captain of the Garuda Warriors. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Zelda. Oh, oh, so we're just giving out our identity now. Okay. So what brings you out this way? Hmm, I see, I see. You're traveling around fixing rifts? Uh-huh. You're fixing rifts? Pardon my shock, it's just that the rifts have been causing us serious trouble lately. We heard that taking care of the monsters would also take care of the rifts, but it hasn't. The rifts haven't gotten any smaller, and the monsters keep coming. Without end, it seems. If we could rid ourselves of these cursed rifts, then nobody else would end up getting hurt. Hey, Zelda! Do you think she might know how to get under the sand? Is everything alright, Zelda? You want to burrow under the sand? Hmm. Well, the sanctum is beneath us. Oh, I understand now! You think you can get rid of the rift if you get into the sanctum. Zelda was not taught the basics of internet safety. This is so true. <laughs> I mean, the last time that Zelda was, like, fully playable as a character was in the 90s, back before the internet, like, really took off. So, like, I get it, but girl, you gotta be a little bit more careful, you know? Normally, the entrance to the Sanctum is where we're standing, but as you probably noticed, it's flooded with sand now, so much nobody can get inside. If you want to get to the Sanctum, we'd first need to clear out the entrance. How can we clear it? A soldier is guarding the back entrance. If we go through there, we could clear the sand out. Of course, doing that would release the monsters as well. Our chief gave orders to keep it blocked for our safety, so I'm not sure how to proceed. If you want to get into the Sanctum, we'd first need to clear out the entrance. I see. Yes, understood. Do we need to talk with, like, the full-on chief then? Sounds like we need to discuss- Yep, yeah, okay, you saved my life, so I'll do all I can to help you. And if you're able to get rid of the rift, that means our warriors won't be injured anymore. Let's meet up at the palace in Gerudo Town. It's just northwest of here. Normally only Gerudo are allowed in the palace, but I'll put in a word for you ahead of time. Alright, Zelda, I'll be waiting for you there. Nice, okay. I'm glad that we ended up, uh... Uh, oh no! Oh, oh, that's not good. Okay, Dark Nut. Dark Nut, kill that guy! Dark Nut, kill that guy! Dark Nut, please kill that guy! Oh my gosh, he's just made of health. This is wild. Come on! 
My gosh, how much health does he have? Hit him! There we go, let's learn him. Man, it's so creepy. We learned the re-dead echo. Okay, so which Pokemon is this? Which Pokemon would a re-dead be? I actually don't know. Uh, I can search humanoid Pokemons. It, is there a Pokemon that gives a uh, zombie energy? Human-like egg group. We could at least uh, look through this. I mean, Hypno would probably make sense. Um, so far, Hypno is making the most sense. Uh, Behegim, maybe? Uh, this and another egg group? Uh, I mean, there's Ralts. Uh, Darkrai? Could be Darkrai. It's just, like, Darkrai is so different shaped. Compare, like, I want something that's, like, humanoid. We could do maybe Grimmsnarl, Fairy Dark. I don't know. I really want this to fit into the Pokemon archetypes. I think that we're gonna go with Hypno as well, because Hypno does have pointy ears. Cofigurus. Uh, Cofrig... How do you pronounce it? Cofigurus? I don't know. We're going to have to put this on the back burner. For now, I'm going to say that this is Hypno. Pointy ears, really creepy aesthetic, haunts your nightmares. We're going to say that this is a Hypno. Could do Grimmsnarl, though. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> there was one night where I ended up uh, hanging out with friends, and I, like, one of the games that we ended up playing was trying to make Pokemon and draw them based off of memory. And the one that I chose was Grimmsnarl, and everybody hated me. E everybody else was choosing, oh, draw, draw Jigglypuff. Oh, uh, draw Squirtle. Oh, uh, draw Torchic. And I'm like, draw Grimmsnarl from memory, and then nobody liked me. And I was not invited back. <laughs> the Minecraft SMP I've done for the past few years is starting up again soon. That's great! Oh! Well, there goes your spare time. We love to see it. Uh, should we... Should we take this time to light the torch? I'm thinking that we should take the time to light the torch. Let's also learn to pot. Draw Eternatus. I, I feel like... I feel like if you were to ask, like, a modern artist... Uh, and when I say modern artist, I want to be clear. Modern art is a time period in art history that is actually in the past. What people think of as quote-unquote modern art and the art that is being produced nowadays is not modern because it's not from the modern era. Anyways, as a side note. Um... If you were to ask, like, a modern artist, draw Eternatus, and then you were to describe it to them, I think that they would actually do really well. Because Eternatus is a lot of really sharp, angular lines. Uh, and, yeah. I think that you could do it. I think that if... If you were to do it from memory, and people were familiar with Pokemon, then they would be able to tell exactly what you're going for. Is this a side quest? Okay, this might sound a little odd, but do you believe in tornado ghosts? See, I was caught up in a sandstorm recently when this tornado comes whirling at me. It was hard to see clearly with all the sand, but I could swear I saw a face in the tornado. It must have been a ghost, but why would it be chasing me? Did I anger the spirits or something? Was it real? Chat, is this real? Did I imagine it? If I could see it again, then I know for sure. Really? Really? You want to see it? G -g 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 ghost? Okay, wait, hold up. He's got a little flipper tail. So I think it might be Politoed. I think it might be Politoed with a little flipper tail. 
I hate Eternatus because even the Ultra Beasts look more like Pokemon than it. Yeah, and I do like the Ultra Beasts. Uh, one of my favorite Ultra Beasts as far as design goes is Nihilego. I think that Nihilego is honestly really cool design. <laughs> it's just a, like, ethereal jellyfish creature. It's awesome. Is anyone else in chat getting bonus points, the green box? I haven't gotten a green box all this stream. Really? No, no. I'm sorry, Twilight Mom. You got to make sure that you're getting your money's worth. Uh, would it be good to, uh, like, hit refresh? I think you might need to hit refresh. It might be just, a, like, an internet being silly kind of situation. Poly Toad Nintendo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, what? Guys, is this a Polywog Nintendo reference? What? I love how she mentioned yesterday that anytime she sees a frog or anything frog like, she's like, is this a Polywog Nintendo reference? Me when I am watching old reruns of The Muppet Show from the 1970s. Wait a minute, Kermit, is that a Polywog Nintendo reference? Close the window and open new ones twice. Oh, then I don't know what to tell you, Twilight Mom. I'm sorry. I'm not an IT professional. I I'm like, have you tried turning it off and on again? Have you tried hitting refresh? Anytime that my students have tech issues on their Chromebook, I'm always like, those are the two go-tos. And usually that helps. Draw ultimate necrozma from memory. Ultimate necrozma? No. Uh, uh, I, I do like Guzzlord. His cry is just a man screaming his lungs out. <laughs> yeah. Just a man screaming. Oh, that's great. The Muppet Show reference, oh my god, so based. Star, you have to know this about me. I am a Muppet Show girly. I absolutely love the Muppet Show. And the Muppets in general. I love the Muppets more than Disney does. Hello, Lemmy Jr. Welcome on in. I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. I hope that you are happy, healthy, and hydrated. It's actually... Um, actually, it's Eternamax. Good. I'm glad that we are in good company with Muppet fans. Oh, it's very important. You guys have to understand that I appreciate Muppets on a very deep and spiritual level. It's called a Tornando? Uh, no, it's actually a Polywog Nintendo reference. Actually, now that I get a closer look at it, it doesn't even look like a ghost, does it? It just chased me because it wanted to send, a, uh, send me flying across the desert. I didn't anger any spirits. I've really been overthinking things. Well, that clears it up, I suppose. Thank you so much for helping me out. Here you go. Mayonnaise? Oh, no, fresh milk. Okay. The Mupp- uh, Oh, no! Yeah, no, I, I am very much a fan of the Muppets. I've talked about the Muppets on the channel before. Maybe you weren't here for that, but, like, I love the Muppets. I gotta ask you guys, chat. Could, could y'all let me know who your favorite Muppet is? Could we drop our favorite Muppets in chat right now? My favorites have got to be Gonzo and, uh... I would say Gonzo and Swedish Chef, probably. With Fozzie being a very close third place. That's worth a lot. Milk is 50 each to buy. We got 500 bucks worth of milk? <laughs> Wait, so let me get this straight. We showed up to this random woman in town. She's like, oh my gosh, I was haunted by a ghost. Please tell me that I'm not hallucinating. We show her that it's actually like a frog in a tornado. And she says, oh, thank goodness. Here is $500 worth of milk. I love this game. Miss Piggy is a good one. Miss Piggy is definitely great. Like, we we love a woman who stands up for herself and is willing to defend the people that she loves. Yeah. Kermit, absolutely. To be fair, Zoe, I don't think that it's that big of a thing in the Netherlands. It's very much like an Americana kind of situation. Adding salt makes something super broken. Okay. Swedish Chef and Beaker. Also, like... Cowcat, you know where it's at. Swedish Chef and Beaker were my favorites. But, like, as I have gotten older, and as I've come to appreciate, like, what different Muppets... Like, I don't know. How, how do I phrase this in a way that doesn't make me sound like I'm actually insane? Um... 
I've just really come to appreciate Gonzo in recent years. I love how Gonzo, like, is just doing their own thing. And Gonzo's a little bit weird, a little bit different from the other Muppets, but the other Muppets love Gonzo and what Gonzo brings to the table. And, uh, like, I just, I just love Gonzo. I vibe with Gonzo. Brent's love Muppets is, it's British. Uh, I mean, it is British slang, yeah. But calling somebody a Muppet in British slang, like, from what I understand, it's an insult. Which, I don't know why it would be an insult. If somebody called me a Muppet IRL, I'd be like, Oh, thank you so much. It's an honor. Buttermilk smoothie? W w what? Oh, buttermilk smoothie in this game. I was like, I wouldn't call somebody a buttermilk smoothie. I really like Miss Piggy. I love a girl boss diva. I love her. And, like, in the 2011 Muppets movie, I think it was 2011... Are you a man or a Muppet? I know. The movie is so good. But, like, I love the portrayal of Miss Piggy in that movie. Like, the fact that she is literally a chief editor of Vogue magazine and gives up, like, doesn't give up her career necessarily, but takes a step aside from the career in order to work with the people that she uh, has literally formed a family with. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. Y'all y'all gotta watch the 2011 Muppets movie uh, with Jason Siegel and Amy Adams. Mana mana. Doo 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 doo. Buttermilk smoothie coming soon to an artery near you. <laughs> Hi! You wanna have a smoothie where the two main ingredients are radioactive butter and radioactive butter? Well, do I have a smoothie for you, coming to an artery or a vein in your neck of the woods soon. Sleepy Bun has made it. Well, welcome on in, Bunny. I hope that you are happy, healthy, and hydrated. I'm a really, I'm a really manly Muppet. Yes. Milk heals so much. That's good. I like how the ABC series is, uh, yeah. Yeah, the ABC series was interesting. I think that they only did like one or two seasons on it. It, like, I understand what they tried to do with it, but I also understand why lots of people were like, this doesn't really feel like the Muppets. It's kind of sad. I will say this, like, Disney is not doing a lot with the Muppet IP, but, um, when they ended up making Muppet Haunted Mansion and put it on Disney+, Plus, I actually thought that, that was done pretty well. It was the first major Muppet... Uh, production that featured Kermit's new voice actor and I'm still very much getting used to it because he has such a deeper voice than what I'm normally used to for Kermit like bringing Kermit down like at least half an octave if not a full octave and like I'm not used to Giga Chad Kermit I would much rather have a Kermit that is you know a little bit meek a little bit respectable but like you know He's got kind of a higher pitch voice, you know, kind of like this. But the new Kermit voice actor, like, really brings Kermit voice to the down right here, and I'm just not really kind of used to it, you know? It's just taking some getting used to. Kermit absolutely is an icon. I love Kermit. Oh my gosh. It kind of made Kermit a manipulator. ABC series, I mean, yeah, yeah. And, like, it felt like it was kind of a betrayal of uh, Kermit's character, you know? Because, like, Kermit would not go out of his way to, like, gaslight his friends. Kermit, if anything, would want to, like, go out of his way to reassure his friends and make sure that everybody feels welcome. <laughs> Thank you for those froggies in chat, Calcat. <sighs> but, I mean, we're all scared of something. Can't really fault a person for having fears. Jim Henson, is that you? I do like to think that I'm pretty good at my Kermit impression. Is that a little kitty cat? Kitty cat. The kitty cats in this game, and you can say hi to the kitty cat. Wait, let me look at cost. Okay, so we can do redeads. We can do hypnos for three. We can do lichen rocks for three. Two cannons for three. That's awesome. Uh, let's actually do. We want to do most used. There we go. Boom. 
Yeah, I wish I did a good uh, Miss Piggy or Fozzie impression. I feel like I, I'm only good at Kermit. I would not be able to do Miss Piggy or Fozzie well. I don't have, like, Frank Oz's, like, voice. But, like, I can do a little bit of Kermit, you know? I guess, by extension, I could do Swedish Chef as well. Because in the original Muppets, uh, Jim Henson ended up voicing both Kermit and Swedish Chef. What would you do if Grunkle Stunkle won the f uh, Funkle Bunkle? I would do a handstand. I, I would do like a full-on cartwheel out of joy if Grunkle Stunkle won the Funkle Bunkle. I had to like slow down and figure out exactly what it is you were saying, but uh, that would give me lots of, lots of joy. Hello there, Hylian. Curious about me? I'm one of many Gerudo soldiers. I'm off duty at the moment, but that doesn't mean I'm going to slack on my training. My confidence comes from my agility and grace. Behold my skill! Yeah, yeah, yeah! We love to see it. What's with the blank expression? It's almost as if you don't find me impressive. Well, now Zelda is the voiceless protagonist, so she gets to have a blank emotion expression. Every interaction she has. I'll prove my skill to you in hand-to-hand -hand tag. So, ready to play tag? I'll even give you something if you manage to catch me. Let's catch her. I'm kind of monotone, so I can't do impressions. Uh, I think that a lot of it takes practice, though, Titan. Like, if you convince yourself that you are monotone, then you're naturally going to want to fit into that because that's where your mindset is at. But if instead you end up adopting a mindset of like, hey, this is where my voice is at right now, but with enough practice and determination and maybe stepping outside of my comfort zone, then I'll be able to do more impressions. I don't know if impressions is something that you want to do, but like... Don't restrict yourself into, like, one kind of thinking, you know? If if you want to try new things, try new things. Let's play tag. Gerudo tag training. Sure. I swear we're going to get to the dungeon at some point. We have now been streaming for two hours, and we're no closer to even starting it. If you move, swap left, right, fast while using... R... The animation breaks? Good to know. If you tag me, then you win. If you can even uh, you can even block the path if you want. Come on, let's get going. We're just gonna get closer to her. Get her! Get come on! Ugh. Why are hello? Okay. Maybe we do want to block the path, actually. How am I not touching her? How am I not tagging her? It's A to tag? Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Monotone people are cool, like Tina Belcher. I do like Tina Belcher. Yeah. What's what's a thing that I can say in Tina Belcher's voice? Like, I don't know if I can even do a good Tina Belcher, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Dad, what's the burger for today? Yeah, no, I'm I'm not. Yeah, I can't do Tina Belcher. Uh, yeah. Bob Belcher? Bob Belcher is very monotone, but that's just like kind of H. John Benjamin. All right, we caught her in tag. Good to see. My, my, you are indeed very capable. Your legs carry you like one who has traveled across many regions. <laughs> you have inspired me. Here you are, as promised. Oh, we got Cactus Cooler. Nice. Okay. Let's head on in here and talk with the chief. Finally. Oh my gosh, look at her! She is an icon! Oh my gosh, she's giving like a combination of Urbosa from Breath of the Wild and Lilith from Borderlands. I love it. I kind of want to be her. Chief Sira, I have a report concerning the blocked up entrance to the Sanctum. As predicted, the number of monsters is dwindling. 
Ah, Zelda, I've been waiting for you. Chief, this is the Hylian I was telling you about. With your help, we may be able to get rid of the giant rift uh, here in our desert. But in order to do that, she'll need to get into the Sanctum. If she can get rid of the rift as she claims, we'll finally be done with this long battle. I know. <laughs> She's kind of awesome. Never mind the bug works if you rotate the stick clockwise while, clockwise while spinning. Okay. All right. Are you testing this out, actually, while watching? St that if so, that is iconic, Little Octo. Bob's Burgers asks the question, what if there was a sitcom where the whole family was on the autism spectrum? I know, all the different flavors of autism. Uh, monotone burger flipper, uh, overly enthusiastic wife, uh, really awkward uh, and monotone teenage girl, uh, boy who loves uh, operating a soundboard, and uh, chaotic bunny ear wearing six-year-old. All the different representations of autism are there. It's fantastic. I finally got some bonus points. Yay! You now have 13 funky modes, potentially. My gosh. Like, I don't know what you're doing to, like, get your corner on the market, Twinite Mom, but, like, that is incredible. Like, the, y you've got to be working with some sort of financial advisor to have that level. Like, 13, 13 funky modes, 5,000 each. So you're telling me that you have 65,000 channel points? Little girl who's a gremlin, parentheses, affectionate. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's counterclockwise. Okay, good to know. Captain Dona, are you, uh, do you comprehend what it is you are asking? If you recall, after the sanctum was consumed by the rift, the surge in monsters began. 65,000 channel points. That, that's also breaking my brain. That's like Ed Sheeran and Toby Fox working on the same song. <laughs> this is from the latest research. Okay. I love how people have already broken this game. Have you guys seen that, like, you can actually play as Link in this game? Like, people have found a way to, like, manipulate the game's code in a way to allow you to play as Link just through, like, standard button inputs and everything. You're a saver by nature. True. True. Uh, for the sound safety, we blocked the- yes. Uh, since then, we've been eradicating the rest of the monsters, which will fix the rift. After that, we'll reclaim the sanctum. That was the plan. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, Facet. Many of my warriors have been injured, and the monsters keep coming. To top it off, we defeated countless monsters, yet the rift doesn't appear to be shrinking at all. We should, sh we should be acting with urgency to be rid of the rift as soon as possible, and Zelda can help. You can't expect us to trust this total stranger. We don't even know where she comes from. You're the chief's daughter. I'm shocked by your severe lack of judgment. Peace, Facet. Pardon my words, Chief Sira, but I... Dona, I understand the concern you feel for the warriors. I feel each injury to our warriors as though it was my own. That said, have you seen this Hylian eradicate a rift? I... You have only just met this stranger yourself. How can you tell us to trust her? Well, I... Chief Sira, it seems further discussion is unnecessary. Now is not the time to be entertaining strangers and their claims. I will prove what Zelda says is true. You will be wasting your time. This Hylian is clearly deceiving you. No, we are not! How can we prove it to you? Can we spawn a bed right in front of you? <laughs> She saved my life. How dare you speak of her like that? I trust Zelda, and I will prove that she can get rid of rifts. Oh, no. No matter how many monsters they fight, the rift isn't going to go away on its own. Dona is correct about this, so why won't they trust us? You should, Why? Not today, because I want to... F I want to finish the dungeon. <laughs> Before I end up hanging out with my friends tonight. I have friends that are visiting from out of town. And so, like, I've got, like, a time limit that I'm working with today. But I also want to make sure the second dungeon gets done today. Because that's the title of the stream. But I would absolutely love to play Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah. I, what I would probably end up doing 
is uh, I would like turn into, if you were to make me do that on a random stream, I would transition into a, uh, into a just chatting segment, uh, entertain you guys with just chatting while I end up making a Plants vs. Zombies bow tie, and then set that up and then make sure that I add it to my Steam library and whatnot. You're still at least half an hour away from starting the dungeon. Dang it. No! Oh, okay. I don't know if we're even starting the dungeon today then. I'm sorry, chat. Look, I I want to hang out with my friends tonight and like we're going to we're going to do things that none of us have ever done before. We're going to go to a Ren fair. It's going to be a lot of fun and then there's going to be a game night tonight with my friends. So, yeah. We 45 maybe. I know. The more that we dilly-dally and talk about Muppets, the longer this is going to be. <laughs> but we could also set it up so that next weekend when we end up playing, it would, uh, we would start right at the beginning of the dungeon. In fact, let's actually go ahead and plan on doing that. Let's do everything leading up to the dungeon, and then we'll start wrapping things up. I know, I've never been to a Ren Fair before, and so I'm excited to give it a go. I ended up getting a costume from, like, Spirit Halloween, uh, which I know is definitely cheap. I, and if I wanted to take Ren Fairs more seriously, I absolutely could make my own costume uh, and, like, really go all in. But, yeah. It's my first time, so I'm excited for it. You there, Hylian! Captain Dona left a message for her, uh, you on her way out. She mentioned that she's heading to the Oasis, and she would like you to join her there. To get to the Oasis, head due east when you leave town. You can't miss it. That's all she shared for you. Um, how do we get the map again? Open map. Okay, there we go. Let's warp there. That's my first time warping. I'm not used to fast travel in this game, but it is nice that they let you do it. Okay. Ah, women, yes. So none of the rifts are shrinking yet, I see. Thank you for your report. Get some rest before you return to patrol the rifts. Thanks for coming, Zelda. Let's talk over here. I can't get over how cute Zelda's character design is in this game. I know it is baby's first Ren Fair, but uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. And I'm also especially excited because I'm going to be doing this with friends that I see on average maybe once a year. The last time that I ended up seeing them was actually two years ago for a Halloween party. Uh, we all used to live in the same town, but then after college, we very much went our separate ways. They went to law school in a completely different state. Uh, I ended up going and I moved to a different city and then... Other friends were, like, staying behind. We still end up catching up, and we still end up playing games online in a shared Discord and everything. Um, but it's very rare that we actually get to be all in the same place at the same time, IRL. And we're going to have almost all the gang here, so it's going to be a lot of fun. The water here is so peaceful, don't you think? This place holds many memories for me. The chief, my mother, used to play here with me when I was little. She would tell me to look at the serene water, to keep my mind and heart calm like the water. Facet took up my training rather than my mother, because mother was busy as chief. Facet trained the others too. Thanks to her and mother, we are the Gerudo you see today. I have so much respect for the both of them, but I can't stand by and watch things get worse. I mean, she's kind of in a difficult situation, like... She was trained by somebody who wasn't even her mother because her mother ended up taking on the leadership role of the tribe. She wants to do right by the tribe. She wants to live up to what her mother is doing for everybody. But she's not recognized for the hard work that she's putting in. It's sad. I believe you can fix the rift, Zelda. And so I wonder how we can prove to my mother and Facet that you're being honest. Aside from the big rift at the Sanctum, there are also three small rifts elsewhere in the desert. I'd like for you to see if you can get rid of any of them. 
They were in the southern oasis ruins, Ancestor's Cave of Rest, and the southern Gerudo Desert. First run fair I went to was nice. Uh, watched some jousting, but they were sold out of turkey. That's a bummer. I love a good turkey leg. I trust you, Zelda. And if you get rid of a rift, I'm sure the chief will trust you too. Come talk to me again if you need more info on the rifts, okay? I think we're just going to head towards the quest markers, right? Ugh. Hey, are you hanging in there? Yeah, sort of. Actually, no, I'm not. We're defeating wave after wave of these things, but they just keep coming. Did you get here? It's not safe here. Monsters keep coming after us. Oh, don't worry. We got this. Finished a show series this morning. Went to do some stuff. Came back for lunch and was like, Oh, I can keep watching while food cooks. Oh, no. Yeah. When you finally end up wa uh, like finishing a TV show and you're like, Oh, what do I do with my life now? All that time that I had dedicated to watching this and now it's gone. Ugh. Like that hole in your chest that you get when you finally finish, like a 90-hour RPG, and it's like, what do I do with my time now besides just sit and dissociate? <laughs> Think about the game that I just played or the show that I just watched. Let's, uh, I'm thinking Darknut? Is it down in here that we need to go, though? Huh. Okay. Uh, what do we do here? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Decorative shrub helps. No. Uh, hello? There we go. Let's just push this. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Nice. That allows us to go up here. Okay. And then we're going to just push this guy. Oh, and we get to learn the gust of wind, which is huge. Okay. Let's learn it. Decay in my bed. <laughs> we got the wind cannon echo. Beautiful. Oh, and now we're... G okay, okay. There we go. Let's blow away all the sand. Push the button. Why does this game let me do this? Uh, you made a carbonated milk smoothie? Well, I do hate that. I'm really not happy with that information. <laughs> Okay, we got ourselves an unusual crystal. Sick. Let's just blow away the sand. Okay. I don't really want to... Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking Dark Nut, actually. Most used. Dark Nut. Here we go. Come on, kill that guy. Kill that guy. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot about the ads that were coming in. I'm sorry, guys. No. What, uh, what do you say about the milk? The milk sounds awful. I do not want carbonated milk. By the way, for those who got the ad, I know that you couldn't hear me. I'm sorry. I, I should have paused. What? We got a rock tato? What? What do you mean rock tato? 
There's a rock potato. That's gross. Okay. Uh, is that everything in this cave, though? I thought that we were going to be able to... Oh, we made it. Okay, cool. Said I wanted to eat rocks. I was right. Yeah, I know. That's that's gross, and I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, they don't like us. Uh, they do not like us. Um, let's go ahead and do a dark nut. Oh, wait, hold up. Um, let's get the treasure chest. Storage space is laughably small. Yeah, yeah, I am worried about that for some of the, uh, I'm definitely worried about that for, like, the Switch 2. I'm hoping that the storage solutions are way better. Okay, it's just going to take a while to hit these guys, and that's okay. The guy is basically invincible. Come on, hit him. Hit him, come on. There we go, beautiful. No, that's understandable. Yeah, I hate the way the Switch 2 controllers look. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's a little bit more rounded. The thing that I am a little bit worried about is... Um, that it's still going to be way too small and that in order to hold the switch in a handheld mode comfortably, you're probably going to have to get an additional grip that has like the things that you can wrap your uh, fingers around. But uh, I think that it's fine. Personally, though, I know that everybody's got their own cup of tea. Well, at least the monsters seem to be mopped up for the time being. Now, if the rift would just go away. I'm worn out from all the relentless fighting. Let's take a break for a bit. Thank you for helping us. You're a lifesaver. Well, let's head in here. I can't create a rift entrance here, so we won't be able to get into this one. Wait, seriously? We, we couldn't do that? Well, that's lame. Let's grab this chest as well. We got ourselves 20 bucks, which is lovely. Okay. This is the major rift. Uh, we're going to want... Old bed. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and, uh, absorb all these again. I don't have any money to get bigger storage space. That is unfortunate. Like, SD cards can definitely be kind of pricey. This is how we make it over to this side. I do think generally it's worth it, but... Also, like, I mean, you gotta pay pills. I get it. I have a second Switch, which is gonna be used for the Nintendo Society. The Nintendo Society. What is this? I I do have two Switches. One of them is uh, OLED, and the other is, like, a Switch Lite. And the Switch Lite is, like, for... Uh, I know that the Switch OLED is perfectly fine to travel, but the Switch Lite is just so much more portable that I just use the Switch Lite for travel. It's the gathering of... Oh, it's the gathering of geeks. Okay, yes. The gathering of geeks. Oh, these guys want water. No. Oh, no. What's wrong? We've been keeping posts here at the Rift without any rest. And we ran out of water while fighting the monsters. We we're about ready to collapse. It does sound a little bit culty, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it, it sounds like the Nintendo Illuminati, or maybe like the group of Nintendo lawyers that go after people if they even think about emulating anything. But, uh, yeah. It's not a Smash call. Okay, it, good. 
Good. I'm glad that you guys are at least aware that deodorant is a thing that exists and that you can use it. I very much appreciate that. I'm so thirsty I can't even move anymore. We gotta drink something right away. Water won't be enough. You need a drink that can both hydrate and provide nutrients. Smoothie? Can you run to the smoothie shop at the Oasis and buy a cactus smoothie? Or... Or I could just give them a cactus smoothie. Hi, would you like a cactus smoothie? Yes. Just take the cactus smoothie that I made earlier. The vacation juice. Oh, I feel so much better already. Thank you. Now we can get back to patrolling. Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're all feeling refreshed. I'd better get back to the Oasis. See you, Zelda. Okay. There's nowhere around here for me to create an entrance into the rift. No. Okay. Um. And then we've got this one that's like at the far north. Okay. Making my way downtown. Head on up. Oh, we, we do not have that fast travel point. Oh, no. Looking at the map, is this a sandstorm? That's not good. Oh, and this was the place. This was the place. Okay, yes, Gerudo. The torches in here have all gone out. What am I going to do? Push the button? With the rift in here, I can't get near the grave, so I can't light the torches. And without them, our ancestors won't be able to rest peacefully. Ancestors Cave of Rest Rift. Okay, so, uh, bed? Bed? Oh, we cannot do bed. Hmm. What if... That doesn't do anything. Okay. What do we do? Oh, hold up. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. We take this guy. We take the slugma. We throw him. We throw him. Or... Hold up. What if... No. Zelda face the right way. You can't push him across the rift. Okay, so you can't do that. And if you create a stack of beds... And then a slugma. I hope I'm not, uh, uh, let's see, it's, oh wait, hold up, uh, let's toss this guy, capture him, oh, and now the bed's on fire, okay, well that's not good, that's not good, okay, so what do we do here? Let's talk with her again, see if we've got some insight. The torches in here have all gone out. What am I going to do? With the rift in here, I can't get near the grave, so I can't light the torches. And without them, our ancestors won't be able to rest peacefully. There's no actual insight to what we're doing here. Wait a minute. I was, I was on the right track. Okay, we... <laughs> I keep forgetting you can do that. Moles? Moles, hello? Pull him out of the hole, yay! Uh, and then, um...
Yay! Okay. Diglet, diglet, dig. No, I, I think that this is um. There is a mole Pokemon. I forget what the name is. Uh, it's not Diglet. Uh, this one is Drillbur. Drillbur. Yeah, everybody's favorite Pokemon, Drillbur. Yo, we got Drillbur. Awesome. Let's pull him out of the hole. Just keep attacking him. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's drag that. Uh, what now, though? What do we do with... Oh, wait, hold up. We go down the ladder. And now we got a 2D section. Sick. Oh, wait, hold up. And so now... We take this guy... And they dig and create holes. Oh, that's great. Okay. Uh, but what we need is we need to find a way back up. So, cost, uh, let's do it by type. We want a spider. Yeah. A strantula. Wait, how do we get back up? How do we get back up? I... Mm, did I mess this up for me? I mean, we can certainly get the... Uh, we can get this thing. But it might be too late to get the uh, chest. I really wanted to get the chest. A major bummer. If I do say so. I just wanted to get past the guy. I didn't really want to hurt him. Okay, wait a minute. There might be a way to get the chest now. Let's jump down here. Okay. Yeah, it's not too late to get the chest. It's not too late. Hi, could you please dig a hole? Oh, that's awesome. You are you are beautiful, my friend. We got the chest. Let's go. What? We got a golden egg? We can have a golden egg smoothie. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh let's let's send out a wolfos. Attack him. There we go. <laughs> I feel bad for the little guy. I feel bad for the slugma, but... Not so bad that I'm not willing to just go past it. How did she get here? Hello? Okay. Let's take the slugma. Oh, come on. Come on. Golden deviled eggs. That kind of sounds good. I'm not going to lie. Ah, oh, peace once more. I don't believe I've seen you before. Well, thank you for lighting the torches. With the fires burning, we can rest peacefully now. Please go tell my descendant that all is well. Okay, well, that's nice. Wait, go tell my descendant. Wait, 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 what? what? Did we just talk to the ghost of this woman? The torches are lit again? Ah, they are. Yeah. So you lit them? But how? You found a secret passageway to the grave? I didn't know one existed. And a Gerudo over there wanted you to talk to me? That's so weird. I thought I was the only one here. Well, anyway, thanks for the help. I really appreciate I think we might have just talked to a ghost. I'm sure the ancestors are happy, too. Thank you. I'm not seeing anywhere I can create an opening for the rift, so we won't be able to get in here. That's a bummer, though. Zelda, how has it gone so far? Were you able to get rid of any of the rifts? Nope. 
Oh, you couldn't get rid of them. Which means saving, uh, getting you into the Sanctum is the only way we'll solve things. But we don't have any way to do that right now. I see dead people. <clears throat> Creepy. Captain Doma! We've received a message from Lady Facet. She wants to know whether or not you've been able to see any evidence of Zelda's powers yet. She commands that you bring the Hylian and provide her a status update. Uh. So be it. Oh no. <laughs> but we haven't found a way to prove your ability yet, so we'd better go check in regardless. I'll go on ahead to the palace. Come meet me there later, please. Okay. I say we actually head there. We head directly there. It's nice that we can warp in the dungeons and the caves, too. That That's a really good quality of life thing. I can understand why they wouldn't want us to warp in from the caves, but... Okay, let's... Let's at least activate the side quest, and then we can come back to it later. Oh, a Hylian. I'm impressed you made it all the way here through the desert. You must uh, be quite the explorer to come all this way, which reminds me... I'm looking for these elusive tumbleweeds. Maybe you've seen them on your travels? I have, yes. You can find them blowing across the sand here in Gerudo Desert. But the pesky things roll out of reach, and if you try to grab one, they fall apart. The more I think about how elusive they are, the more obsessed I get. All I want is to spend my time observing one of the tumbleweeds closely. But I managed to destroy every one I found. My dream is to observe them is so out of reach. If you bring me my heart's desire, you will be well rewarded. So we need to... Bring one all the way over here? Using uh, Tri's ability to grab things? I don't know. <laughs> Tell us, Captain Doma, have you managed to find more proof that she can fix the rifts? No, not yet. But if you would listen to what she has to say, then you'll... So you have returned to us with nothing. After swearing, you would find proof of her capabilities. Clearly, this is some sort of joke. This stranger has you entirely deceived. Yeah. No, she doesn't. For what reason would she be deceiving me? To what end? Huh? She's been working with me to prove that she can get rid of the rift since we last spoke. Would she be running all over the desert like that simply to have a laugh at my expense? Huh? I know she's telling the truth, and I'm willing to give her the opportunity to prove it to you. I can't stand by while my warriors... Friends are being wounded on the battlefield. I trust Zelda, and I know that she can get rid of the rifts. We just have to give her the chance. I'll take full responsibility for whatever happens. Please, Chief Sira, let us enter the sanctum. Dona, you are willing to risk your honor as a warrior to place your trust in this person? Huh? I am. Okay. You've grown so strong, my daughter. I, too, can no longer stand by while my people suffer. Seeing you put your honor on the line inspires me to place my own trust in this person. Oh. Chief Sira, you cannot be serious! If we remove the sand from the sanctum, we will once again be overwhelmed by monsters! Huh. Do you forget that I am a warrior, Facet? I will hold the monsters at bay. You're being ridiculous. You really think you can hold back waves of monsters on your own? She won't be on her own. All the people that we helped are coming to defend us? Yo! Why are you here? We overheard your discussion. Chief Sira, Lady Facet, this young lady has helped all of us. She helped me at the cave of our ancestors. She aided us as well. If she's able to rid of these horrible rifts, then we'll do all we can to support her. Captain Dona, we stand at your side. Hmm. hmm. Facet, you heard our warriors. Are you now willing to hear this Zelda out? Uh -huh. Of course not. What are you saying? What a wretched excuse for a chief. Excuse me. She's trying to deceive you, to take advantage of you. Can you not see her true character? Guards, this girl has ill intentions and is here to deceive us, Gerudo. Throw her in jail at once. Guys, really? That'll be the second time this game that we're thrown in jail. Facet, what are you doing? No! Chief Sira, we've got trouble. What is it? 
A rift at the ruins in the eastern desert grew, and a bunch of our warriors were taken by it. Take me there at once, soldier. Yes, Chief Sarah. Maybe this is the way that we end up proving once and for all that we can get in the rifts. Onward, warriors. Of course, Chief Sarah. Chief Sarah, please, you must wait. You can't go rushing into the fray like this, so ill-equipped. Yes, but... She's a leader, and she needs to defend her people. Oh, it's time for plot. Let's go. The rift expanded. I might be able to create an entrance there then. Let's follow them. Let's head there. Yeah, certainly. Okay. Wait a minute. What's the other thing on our map? This guy. The blocked road. Is it? Wait, what? What? Hold up. Oh, no, didn't I move that, though? Oh, so I just need to talk to him again. Okay. Yeah, I ended up getting rid of the blocked road. I just, uh... Yeah, I just need to talk to him. Any heart containers in this, uh, in these little tiny patches of grass? It'd be really cool. Looks like no. If we head up here... Oh, wait, hold up. Ah, okay, so we need to head up. This is not great. Okay. Let's head out of this area. And this part is so slow. Okay. Uh, let's do bed. Okay. L we also need to heal. So I'm thinking that we should just heal. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's certainly... <laughs> that's certainly one way to wake up. Let's go ahead and do a soft bed. All right, we're going to heal a little bit faster this go around. And... Cool. Uh, let's... Flip around to this side... We're still going to have the storm and we won't be able to see much, but okay, here we go. Here we go. Our warriors are inside this rift. Don't get too close. We've got to save them, but how? With a can-do attitude, anything is possible. A set following your counsel, we have tirelessly worked to defeat the monsters. Tell me then, why has this rift gotten bigger? Perhaps we have yet to defeat enough monsters? Chief Sira, it's dangerous here. Let us return to the palace with haste. No. Don't be absurd. Our soldiers have been taken. Do you really think I'd leave them behind? Mm. Well, I... We're just going to jump right in. In front of everybody so that they can see how cool we are. I think I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. Let's go try. I hope everybody can see how cool we are. Zelda, is that... Yeah, I told you I can open the rifts. You can enter the rift here and get rid of it, and you'll be able to get my friends out too? Wow, thank goodness. Please do whatever you need to. Let's do it. Now, this isn't a full-blown dungeon. It's just like a rift, right? This is the still world, but this area isn't connected to the big rift. Even so, I can sense my friends here. They're not moving at all. I get the feeling they're trapped or something. If we rescue them, we'll be able to mend the rift. I can sense my friends in five different areas. They are somewhere in this area here. Let's find them and rescue them. Let's do it. Okay, a little bit of sword energy. We're going to leave that be, though. Let's jump down here. 
Oh, hello. You're you're a gooby wooby, aren't you? It's kind of like a thwomp. I can see. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we might have... I think we might have been a little bit too silly on this one, chat. What if we do that? Okay. That's how we end up getting up. See, this is cool. You get to move the thwomps and then it ends up creating a platform. That's cool. That's pretty neat. Okay. Why is it not going up? I would like it to go up. Why is the gap is is the gap seriously just too small? You can kill those with the echo. Huh, okay. Oh, that that that's that's actually an easy way to go about the <laughs> puzzle. I should have I should have done that from the start. But hey, we learned a few things. Okay. Okay. And then... Baba boom. So that's all the guys from this corner. Okay. We're going to jump up here. Ooh, uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Dark Nut? Is, is there anything actually there, though? I don't know. Maybe? Let's leave that guy there for now. Okay. Oh, this is sideways. Oh, I I don't like that. I don't like that. Um What do we do about it though? Uh-oh. Not what I meant to do. Okay. What about down here? Okay. We're going to need to find some way to get all the way up there. That's going to be tricky. Let's keep exploring. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting the download, maybe? There's only so many things that we could end up doing, though. Okay, uh, what if we do beds? Okay. Okay. So we got onto that pedestal. We still... Hmm. Trampoline? Uh, decorative shrub? Okay. Maybe? What if we do... Uh... Okay. Okay! And that's how we, uh, get up here, I'm thinking. Cause, yes. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're solving puzzles. I don't like the way that we're doing it. But we are certainly uh, giving this our best shot, aren't we? Okay. Oh, man, this is so weird. This is so weird. Okay. Can we get up? We can still get up here. This is mind-bending. This really is mind-bending. Okay. Um. Let's get rid of all of our echoes. Okay. We jump. Oh, that did not quite work out. Um, what if instead we were to do a bed? Oh, that. I just want a little bit more platform. Bingo. Okay. We push the rock. Yes. Okay. Three out of five. Where else do we need to go in this rift? Let's just get rid of all of them. Okay. These beds really do defy the law of physics, and I kind of love them. Oh my gosh, it's that that gap got us last time too. Oy vey. Okay. Is there anything that we can do like in this? This kind of looks like the entrance to a dungeon. I don't know exactly what happened there, but uh Oh, that might actually be how we get the guys right there. Okay, hold up. Let's add a bed. Nope. Add a bed. Add a bed. Add a bed. And jump. Okay. So maybe that's not the way. Although we were really close. So maybe that is the way we just need to get the right angle. Nope. Okay. Is there a way to run? No. Okay. There's got to be a way to get up there. I think it's too tall for us to actually have echoes because we only have the four. The only thing that I can think of... If we do two decorative shrubs on... Oh, wait. Hold up. That's, that's quicksand. We do not want that. Okay. You can do it the way I did it. You can't do the way I did it. Okay. Okay, that's not going to work. Hmm. It's got to be from the top, and then you just go down. Wait a minute. Here's another thing to consider. What if we end up getting the bat? No, we cannot jump with the bat. We cannot jump. It, it, it doesn't work like cuckoos. At least I don't think. No, it does. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's how we solved that puzzle. I spent way too much time thinking my way through that. Alright, and we need one more. I'm guessing it's back towards the beginning. C 
because we did kind of like race through the beginning part. There's probably something that we miss here. Maybe? Or maybe not. Hmm. Tricky. I'm definitely missing something. I don't think it's in the ladder. If we head this way... Oh, no, not that one. I want... Uh, table's fine. I don't think there's anything else that we're missing? I like how the bat's following us. They're just very loyal. Okay. Bed. Okay. Hmm. The mini rifts were your favorite? Interesting. What if... Hmm. Oh, there's probably one all the way at the top here. Right? Oh, goodness. Okay. Now we gotta deal with these guys. Yeah, this was definitely the part that I was avoiding earlier, so... Enjoy your lurk, Zoe. Okay, now we can tackle the bed. It's still not enough to go all the way up here. Wait, wait a minute. We can use this ledge to our advantage. We put a decorative... Sh uh, no. Oh my gosh. Why am I not facing the right way? Okay. Actually. Let's do... Let's do this bed first. Decorative shrub. Okay. Actually, <laughs> let me cook, chat. Let me cook. Decorative shrub. We have to do this in the exact order. We add a bed. We add a bed. We add a bed. That's how we get up here, chat. And there's a guy that's frozen. It's so sad. Hey, isn't this facet? But she was just outside. No. Oh, no, I do have the bouncy thing. I'm just like, I'm really good at making things way more complicated than they need to be. I wonder why she's in here. Probably because she got absorbed. Let's free all of the friends, yo! Heck yeah. We found all my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. Do it. Will he cook or be cooked? I can do both. These things are not mutually exclusive. Yay! Friendship! Get rid of the goop. Let's do it. My friend shared some of their power with me. Oh, we're leveling up? Only a little bit. We only got a little bit of XP. Ads, are you serious, bro? You didn't even give me a warning for that, Twitch. Come on, man. Oh, I understand that you're a business and you need to make money. I understand. But my gosh. I know, I know. 
Don't worry, we're going to take a little pause right here. This is also a great opportunity. If you are sub to the channel, first of all, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, you help support a lot of the things that we do here. And, uh, I mean, honestly, everybody is the reason why I keep doing what I'm doing. But, like, uh, if, you, if you are sub to the channel, it really does help. Uh, all the money that is raised for the channel ends up going back to the channel. So it is greatly appreciated. Um, but now's a great time to stretch. Make sure that you have plenty of water. Make sure that you got your fluids. And it looks like now the ad break is done. I'm pretty sure. Can we get, uh, can we send out some feelers, uh, in chat? Like, uh, maybe fluff up our whiskers a little bit. See if, see if ads are done. Are we back? Are we so back? Or are ads still going? Back? Okay, good. Good to know. I'm glad. We got two unusual crystals. Zelda, let's go back to your world now. Let's do it. And now they can see that we ended up not only going into the rift, but we also ended up destroying the rift. I'm sure that they're going to believe us now. Ads done. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. So, I guess ads finish for different people at different rates. And Twitch really... <laughs> Twitch has a pretty good idea of how long the ad breaks are. But apparently there are some variations here and there. Like, when I get the notification that ads are done, that's when I'm going to jump back into gameplay for you guys. Um, one of these days I want to, like, set up a little banner or a, uh, a little PNG that says ad break in progress. So that way, if anybody is tuning in, then they know that that's the reason why we're not doing gameplay. I'll get around to setting that up. One of these days. Probably soon. Zelda! Where am I? Last I remember, I was pulled into a rift. You're awake. Oh, I'm so relieved everyone is back safely. She really did it? The rift? It's... It's gone! We saw it with our own eyes! What astonishing powers! Facet, where are you going? We shouldn't leave the palace unguarded. I must hurry back. Ugh. Wait, what? What happened to- wait, 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 was there an imposter among us? No. A set? What? There are two of you? Chief Sira, Captain Dona, what has happened? Wait, is the villain creating echoes? We are wondering the same. How did you get here? I was- Looking into the rifts here in the desert. And and then Oh yes, I was pulled into a rift. I see. Chief Sira. I recommend extreme caution. She came out of the rift after all. She could be some kind of monster. Yes, that's what she is. I'm willing to begin I'm beginning to think that this fake facet was intentionally put in this palace in order to try to lead the royalty astray from what was actually best for the people. I mean, I'm not saying that this game was inspired by Lord of the Rings, but I'm just saying we've seen this in Lord of the Rings. It's plot plot plot. Yeah, you don't actually think I uh, trust you, do you? Gah. You're not going anywhere. Oh, snap. She turned into soup. Is this really rated E for everyone? Where did she go? She vanished? So she was a fraud after all. Facet made me many questionable remarks ever since the rifts appeared. She spoke of a legend that promised defeating monsters would eliminate the rifts. Burying the entrance into the sanctum was also her idea and she only suggested it once she heard that the rift in the forest had been eradicated. Now that I reflect on it, she must have intended to keep Zelda away from the rift. But why? Because she's an imposter among us. It's rated M for me. 
<laughs> it's not rated E for everyone. It's rated M for me. That's what the ESRB means. Yes, that's what rated M means. Good job, little Octo. She didn't want the rifts to be fixed. All of her deceits were to that end. Zelda, although we were deceived by the false facet, I apologize for how we treated you. You have my permission to restore the entrance to the sanctum, and you have my blessing. I know it is selfish for me to ask, but you must use your power to help me and my people. All right. Thank you so much, Chief. The entrance to the sanctum sits at the base of the quicksand flow in the southern desert. The cave that drained the sand was plugged, causing the flow to submerge the entrance. Go speak to the guard at the cave and tell her what has transpired. Yes, Chief Sira. Let's do it, yeah. We did it! Once you are ready, please head to the Sanctum. We're counting on you, Zelda. Okay! And that's gonna take us to the dungeon. We love to see a dancing toad. Thank you very much for that. Don't mind if I yes. I think we're gonna warp there, and then we're gonna go ahead and drop a save. We are going to start wrapping things up, but don't you worry, all right? We're gonna keep this party going. Make sure to stick around because we are going to be raiding another family-friendly streamer, preferably one that is uh, doing a Nintendo game. But I will say this, hey, if you like the content and want to see more Nintendo or indie content in your life, uh, consider dropping a follow. It is not expected, but it is greatly appreciated, and it's a great way to support the channel. And you get to be a part of this amazing community that not only hangs out in Twitch, but we also hang out in Discord, where we share lots of food pictures, we share lots of pet pictures, we share memes, we talk about life. It's a lot of fun. If you aren't able to make it to every stream, don't worry. All the streams are also uploaded to YouTube and the VODs channel. And speaking of the VODs channel... You guys should check out the Wobble Foods video. There was a Wobble Foods video that was posted yesterday where I teach you how to make carnitas, and I also give you a very brief overview of a very small window of the history of the Mario 64 ROM hacker community. It's a lot of fun. You should check it out and drop it a like. It, it, I, I took a lot of time to make that video. It's something I'm very proud of. Anyways, uh, you can also check me out on social media. I've got, um, it was from the subathon. Yes, it was from the subathon. Yeah, so that is the Wobble Foods video that you guys actually unlocked through the subathon. So make sure to check it out. But yes, I also do uh, post edited clips and everything on uh, TikTok and Instagram. So be sure to check out those as well. But that is going to do it for me for today. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Make sure to stick around for the Wade. And wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and I hope to see you next week on Wednesday for some Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. See you later!